God's morning blessings. God's morning blessings. Celebrating my two year anniversary of being baptized in the spirit as well as the water. I was washed clean on January the 26th, 2020. Thank you, Lord. I'm close enough to see you through your world of made me. All of my mistakes have been washed away forever. And like a baby, I'm taking new steps. I'm falling right back. I'm really going to see And now that I've been made new, I got a new set of rules. You see, the old thing is new. Juggernaut J said, her praise is her worship. She said, sing. Cause you wash away, wash away, you wash away, wash away, yeah. You make me new. You leave no residue. Wash away, God. You make me new. You leave no residue. Oh, all the gaze into your head we have made. Soon as. And you see you see me dipping all my soul. And you exchange my shame for joy when I'm with you. I got a new set of rules. See, the old thing is new. There's no residue. Cause you wash away, wash away, you wash away, wash away, yeah. You make me new, thank you, Lord. You leave no residue. Wash away, wash away, yeah. You make me new. You leave no residue. morning blessings god's morning blessings to each and every one of y'all tuning in from all over the world y'all already know i can't see without my glasses so let me step away i'm traveling so i'm not in my car i'm actually in a hotel room in miami so y'all just my husband is I'm, I'm being um letting him get rest so let me tiptoe in and and get my glasses God's morning blessings, God's morning blessings. Thank each and every one of you from tuning in wherever part of the world that you are logging in from. I see I have Cassandra, the first person that has logged in from Denver, Colorado. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome to MCC, um, Movement Created Cult Nation, UCC Unity Court Congregation, where there is no liberty, there is no love, and there is no laughter whatsoever. You, 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 you know when the Lord tells you to move, you have to move just like that. Just like that. 
Okay, so today, on today, um, I, my message on today um, in Juggernaut J voice is her praise is her worship. Well, I'm on here as the undefeated underdog in God's kingdom. And I want to tell y'all, my praise is my weapon. When I'm praising God, I'm in warfare and I'm using my praise as a weapon to defeat the enemy. God's morning blessings all over the world. I am going to put on some, let me, I had to go put my glasses on so I can see who is going up the timeline. Yes, I am traveling. I am currently in Miami right now. That's why I am in my pajamas. This is just what it is. This is just what it is. I am traveling. It happens. Especially when you lie and tell folks saying that you have been called to preach to the nation. And you lie and say you have been petitioned to do something. I am traveling, but I still have service to do. So I am coming to you by way of in a hotel room. I see Haiti just went up the timeline. Say Boucha Lele. Jamaica just went up the timeline. North Carolina just went up the timeline. Miami, Florida just went up the timeline. Charlotte, North Carolina just went up the timeline. Baby, I am in Florida as I speak. Thank y'all for tuning in to your girl. I hope you all have set your notifications to this page. We are now CCM Nation because we are seen all over the world. Well, we are robbing folks all over the world as well. My husband, Apostle Fred Brown, and I, yes, we are real pastors. Yes, we are real pastors of the best building we call a church all over the world. Yes, I need to see a psychiatrist. I, Juggernaut J, needs to see a psychiatrist. Texas is in the building. If you like it or not, Texas is in the building. Charlotte is going to be amazing. Charlotte Hall, I am praying for you. She Favor is going to be amazing this year in Atlanta. Urgh. Today, we will be going out of 2 Chronicles 20. I will be reading 16 through 22. I am, in fact, whether people like Roshana like it or not, I and my husband, senior pastor of UCC, we are real pastors. Please be in the building. We are finishing up our Exposing the Devil series. Because God has Roshana exposing me, Juggernaut J's darkness. I have 10,000 folks watching and listening to me. I am not going to cry. I'm, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry this time. But since we have did the series... So many things have been happening and so many things have been exposed until I don't think you guys are ready to hear my testimony. I don't think y'all are ready. I just don't think y'all are ready. I have seen the move of God during this time of exposing the devil, just like I seen it when we did the consecration and we seen a big move of God when we didn't eat um, nothing but raw vegetable and drink water for 10 days. Everybody was able to receive a move of God. I have seen the move of God abundantly during this time of exposing the devil. I'm going to be reading 2 Chronicles 20, 16 
through 22. God has given me a flunch way style of reading the Bible. God has not given me a flunch way, way of reading the Bible. Because God does not give us a flunch way style to read it. The devil distorts the word of God. The devil distorts the words that's in the Bible. That's why he uses a flunch way style to mislead the people. He, the enemy, the devil, uses a flunch way style to read the Bible so that he can continue to mislead and misguide the lost and the unlearned people. That's why Juggernaut J reads the Bible in a flunk way, way, because she wants to distort the words to try to have everybody confused. Like I told y'all on yesterday, where confusion is, God cannot be. God is not present in confusion. And if you're reading the Bible in a flunk way, way, and putting it in a worldly way, and talking about um, kissing your butt and... Uh, what type of bundles you got on and this and that, that is not of God. That is the devil that has Juggernaut J reading the Bible in a feng shui way, style because he wants to continue to deceive, manipulate, and misguide and mislead God's children. They leading them astray. I am in warfare right now. Because Juggernaut J is in a dark place. And she's doing dark demonic things. Like reporting my page and trying to get the page shut down. Why are you trying to get the page shut down if it's not bothering you? If it's not hindering or stopping anything that's going on with this court organization? Why would you be so adamant? Why are you so adamant in trying to get my personal page as well as the angry black woman is still alive? The two pages. Because it's doing what God is allowed it to do. It's doing what God has allowed it to do. It's allowing people to get released, redirected and rescued by God so that their souls can be saved. It's allowing people to know that you are not called by God and it's allowing people to stop. Spinning their coins. Like I said on here, y'all will never hear me ask anybody to sow a seed on their womb opening. To sow a seed so that a ring can drop so that they can get married. To sow a seed so that they can get a job. No amount of money will y'all ever hear me. I'm going to get up here because I'm concerned about the souls and not the coins. I'm going to get up here and I'm going to ask y'all to sow a simple seed alike. And a share in hopes of saving a soul by allowing a soul to get released from the demonic um, court organization to be redirected to God so that God can rescue them and so that he can save their soul. A lot of y'all salvation is at stake because y'all are allowing a woman to tell y'all without y'all um, going to God yourself. None of y'all, the lost and the none of y'all obviously have not seek first the kingdom. Because if you did everything that Jamila trying to tell y'all, they go and tell her, go and tell y'all himself. Because it says, once you seek first the kingdom and it's all its righteousness, everything else will be added unto you. Y'all missing the mark because y'all don't want to have a relationship. Y'all don't want to know God for yourself. You want to know God through Jamila, through Juggernaut Jack. That's why y'all still lost and y'all still unlearned. And I'm going to continue to stay at the throne praying that God continue to remove the scales from so many people's eyes so that they can see the darkness of this woman that God told us to expose. Going to be reading 2 Chronicles 20, 16 through 22. And I'm, no, I'm not going to be reading it in a flunk way. way, And I'm not going to be reading it in a flunk way style. I'm not going to be doing none of that. I'm going to be reading it the way that it's supposed to be read. And I'm going to read it 
from the ESV version so that everybody can understand, so that I will be able to read it and you will be able to understand it. Not the way that Juggernaut J says that God has called her to the nation to read the Bible in a functional way where you in the reading the Bible and you talking about uh, kissing bud and uh, bundles and, and, and th worldly things. No. Two Chronicles. I'm going to read. This is Second Chronicles 20. I'm going to be reading 16 through 22 like she did. And I'm going to be reading it in English the way that God said for me to do. The Bible says tomorrow. But Juggernaut J say, I know what the Bible say, but I'm telling y'all to say today. Not tomorrow, but today. Tomorrow, as the Bible said. You think the Bible says, don't take away and don't add. Obviously, this morning, in the bathroom at the hotel room in Miami, Juggernaut J did exactly what the Bible says. Don't take away or add. She took tomorrow out and added today into this scripture. Second Chronicles 20, 16. It says, tomorrow, go down against them. Behold, they will come up by the accents of Ziz. You will find them at the end of the valley, east of the wilderness of Jerel. You will need, you will not need to fight in this battle. Stand firm, hold your position, and see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf. O oh, Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid and do not be dismayed. Tomorrow, go against them. Not today. The Bible says tomorrow. Juggernaut J said today. She changed that. Tomorrow, go out against them and, Lord, and the Lord will be with you. Then Josephat bowed his head and his face to the ground and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before the Lord, worshiping the Lord, not worshiping a woman, not worshiping a man, not idolizing a man, not idolizing a woman. This scripture specifically says, and it's 18, says, fell, the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. And the Levites and the Kohathites and the Koreites, they stood up to praise the Lord, the God of Israel, with a very loud voice. And they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Teco. And when they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, and you will be established. Believe his prophets and you will succeed. And when he had taken counsel with the people, he appointed those who were to sing to the Lord and praise him in holy attire as they went before the army and said, Give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love endures forever. And when they began to sing and praise, the Lord said, and an ambush against the men of Anna, Mob, Mob, and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah, so that they were rooted. Let the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. Let the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. I need y'all to give an angry face. I need everybody to give an angry face because we are on one accord. If anybody is in the midst of having to fight a battle on today, are y'all crying? Are y'all crying? Let me wipe y'all tears. Cry, but cry with faith. Stand firm and stand firm. Stand firm while you cry. Cry with faith, but stand firm. The scripture says tomorrow. Juggernaut J said, I know what the scripture said, but we, we said today. <laughs> Tomorrow, not today, we going by as scripture says. I need those who need God to do something right now to put an angry face. Because it's a fixed fight. And you already done won. 
The battle is already won. You will not have to fight this battle. Yesterday, God told my husband and I to take the territory. I know no boy sick and sick and if you only knew my story, now that God has given me the territory, I stand in the enemy's face. Because I know I ain't going to have to fight this battle because it is already won. But I sure am going to take my position. I'm going to take my position. I'm going to stand firm. Take up your position. Stand firm, MCC Nation. Watch the Lord deliver you. Come on now, Juggernaut. She said, right now, I am encouraging myself to be face to face with them. Face to face with the devil. Face to face with the person that's coming against me on social media. Face to face right now. Because she was looking at herself in the mirror in the bathroom. That's why she was saying face to face. Because the only face that she could see was her face. Because she can't see y'all's. The only thing she can see on his names. That's why she called him up. That's why she add numbers. But she, been, she was face to face with her enemy. Which is herself on today. I can worship God for hours and hours. Make a joyful noise. Sing praises unto the God. I say sing praises unto the Holy Trinity that is, not just to God. Praise went out before the problem came in. You don't understand the enemy on Facebook wants me to shut up. And she is trying to interrupt my praise. And at the end of the day, I'm the wrong type of leader. Watch this. Sometimes... You just want to sit down and be quiet. I don't know what happened to the mothers of all, but we got them in unity. What's up, Mother Kiki? What's up, Mother Alberta? What's up, Mother Charlene? See, we got the mothers of all in unity. And sometimes they may not say nothing, and they may not do nothing, but you will catch them doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't have to say nothing. They worship it. They praising God with their hums. This ain't no time for the problem to disrupt your praise. I know the boss can that's I know what's Watch this. I have to teach y'all something. Demons are not allowed to worship. This is her and Fred's segment of the message. Witches and warlocks are not allowed to worship God. They know who God is. They don't acknowledge him, but they are banned from being in the sight of the Most High God. So what they do is they go and they imitate. What they do is they go and they possess. She said right now her worship is pure and true. She is insinuating that I am the demon. I cannot worship God. But I'm here to tell y'all that the devil is dead. I don't care if I have a good lace front. I don't care if you have a good lace front or if you're bowed up under the wig or not. God knows the number of hairs on your head. God is your spiritual SOS in the middle of your mess. So God can find you. Watch this. Let me go deeper. The hairs on your head are numbered, even if you are bald. Now, make that make sense. How is the hairs on your head is numbered if you're bald? You don't have no hairs. Brothers and sisters around the world, don't just be a faith-based believer. Be a Bible-based believer as well. And Juggernaut and Fred Brown don't have any Bibles in this building that they call in church. I need all 13,000 on YouTube and 13,333 on the Book of Many Faces to put hallelujah. To put hallelujah in the comments. Hallelujah is not just the highest praise. 
Hallelujah is the highest worship to defeat the enemy. And I am in warfare right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You want me to say yes, sir? Yes, sir. God want me to tell y'all that you are in warfare because you are following demonic cult organization. You are in warfare. You're going to be in warfare daily until you get freed from UCI, CCM. You will continue to be in warfare because you are a part of the demonic schemes, the scams, and the plots of Juggernaut J and Apostle Fred Brown. I'm here to tell y'all, I'm doing what God has told me to do. And I say this every one of these little skits that I do. This is comical. It's hilarious. I am not a real pastor. I don't speak in real tongues. Juggernaut J is not a real pastor. Juggernaut J does not speak in real tongues. This is my assignment from God. I am 52 years young. And no, I'm not getting that from her. She got it from me. I've been saying I was whatever age I was, young, since I was 46. Juggernaut J just started saying it this year because somebody said she's aging backwards. But I'm here to tell y'all, Juggernaut J is reporting the page, but also she's going to take notes and she's getting up here and she's speaking them. You never said hallelujah. You definitely are one accord with the followers because y'all all lost and unlearned. God is not pleased. I say again, Juggernaut J and Apostle Fred Brown, God is not pleased with the deceiving, with the manipulation with the controlling, with the lying that is going on inside of this building. You see how that y'all are calling the church. That's it. Get the best second. Am I second? God is telling me to tell you. Let his people go. Be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. Quit justifying that you're a real pastor because you're not. Quit lying saying that God has called you to speak or preach to the nation because you're, he didn't. You're deceiving the people. You are so worried about the angry black woman is still alive page because you know it's full of truths. You know that people are going there. You watching your numbers fall. You watching your coins get low. You got up there today and asked somebody to sow $77. It's just a simple seed. You asking them to sow on their warfare, to sow on their praise. Their praise is their worship. Well, I'm here to tell you that my praise is my weapon. That's why I'm able to defeat the enemy. That's why I'm able to defeat the enemy. And you got up there and you said David, David was, David was, yeah, with the slingshot. I had my David and Goliath experience with you on August the 16th, 2019. And I was David. I defeated my Goliath, which was you, Jamila. God allowed me to slingshot. And I was just a twirling it. And I was just a twirling it. And I was just a twirling it. Until God told me to let it go. And when I let it go, boom. And when I let it go, boom. It hit you. My Goliath is dead. Because my Goliath was Juggernaut J. A.K.A. Jamila. Or however you want it to be. I defeated my enemy. That's why I speak boldly. The devil is dead because Juggernaut J 
was the enemy, was the Judas in my camp, was the, um, the Goliath that God allowed me to defeat. I am not a real pastor. And Juggernaut J is not a real pastor either. She's a self-ordained pastor. Fred D. Gooden, I pray that he repent and turn away from his sins. Because all of the things that he's doing right now, he got it off of her. Because if those of y'all that follow, if y'all watched him, the man had on a three-piece suit, every one of the women was in there, they was holy and sanctified. They was not in there talking about it wasn't about no religion. It's about relationship. The devil is dead. Fred is following in Jezebel, Juggernaut Jace footsteps. She is a witch and he is a warlock. She is a witch and he is a warlock. Thank y'all for tuning in to CC to um, MCC and UCC. This is a court organization that is ran by the leaders, Juggernaut J and Fred Brown. I pray that y'all get free. Like I said, what she doing is entertainment. God say she entertaining with lies. I need you to do this assignment. Get up here, entertain, make it comical, make it hilarious, but tell the truth. And that's what I'm doing. When I get up here, y'all not going to hear me reading no flunk way. Y'all not going to hear me reading the Bible no flunk way. Y'all not going to hear me reading the Bible. No flunk way way. I'm going to read the Bible in English. I'm going to read the, the, the ESV version so those who don't understand King James, they will be able to understand what I'm saying. I'm not going to get up here and play church. I'm not going to get up here and lie and say God told me to do this and God told me to do that. That's Jamila's segment of the message. That's Fred's segment of the message. But when you don't have a job, you got to do whatever you got to do for your income. Juggernaut J, quit prostituting God's name. Quit prostituting God's name. Quit using God's name in vain, asking people to sow money for you to put in your pocket, for you to use it to do what you want to do. Fred, stop pimping Jamila. And stop pimping God's pulpit. Quit playing with God. Set God's people free. Set the captain free. Because the lost and unlearned people are in bondage. They are in bondage. Juggernaut J has tickled their ears for the last four years. They don't know no better. They lost and they unlearned. No, I'm not a pastor. I'm not going to lie and say I'm a pastor. We all fall short of God's glory, even pastors. But it's certain things that you ain't supposed to do as a pastor. And one of the certain things that you ain't supposed to do is when you're sitting up there about to tell people to kiss, and then you do this. Two or three days for Christmas. Tell me what pastor does that. Juggernaut Jace told him, yeah, and all you religious folks, Y'all can...